Well, look at people! This is Matt Fisher back with another exciting tutorial for you guys today, as always. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change Cortana's search engine from Bing to Google. So to do this is going to be a two-step process. The first thing we need to tackle is redirecting Cortana search or the start menu search to Google Chrome or Firefox. In this example, I'm going to use Firefox, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna be using Google Chrome, but the same thing would hold true if you were using Firefox. So that's gonna be the first thing we have to tackle. The second thing we have to tackle is redirecting the Bing searches to a Google search. So right now, as it stands, if you were to use the regular Cortana search, it would open up with a Bing result inside Microsoft Edge. So we pretty much need to reverse that behavior completely. And to do that, we're gonna need two programs. The first one is called Search With My Browser. And this is gonna tackle that first problem. This application is basically going to redirect all of the search results from Cortana search or start menu search to our default web browser. So they're not gonna open up in Microsoft Edge anymore. They're gonna open up in Google Chrome. The second thing we need is a Chrome extension called Chrome Tana. And what this is going to do is this is gonna redirect the Bing search to another search engine. So this actually allows you to use um, Google, Yahoo, or DuckDuckGo, but in this case, we're gonna use Google. So by combining these two, we're gonna be able to redirect all of the search results to Google Chrome, and then redirect all of the Bing results back to Google search. So I actually have it already installed. And when you go to search something, so let's search uh, how to fly. So as you guys can see, it opens right up with a Google search result in our Chrome web browser, and that just keeps the nice flow of everything. It doesn't open up another application. It doesn't increase all the uh, memory and CPU usage being used in the computer. It's pretty much just, you know, a, a convenience factor. And then aside from that, you can find links to both of these applications in the description down below, as well as the Firefox version. But that's the video that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button. But other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and take care.